Hey, this is Pizza Dude Man. By request, these are my top 5 S supports for Felicia in Fire Emblem Fates. If you create a male avatar, Felicia basically becomes the third main character of the story after Corrin and Azura, especially in the Revelation Path. Because you have her from the get-go, it is very easy to establish a connection between her and pretty much any of her potential partners. Most of her supports revolve around her remarkable combat abilities and her ineptitude as a maid, and these are my top five favorites. Number five, Xander. Xander and Felicia's supports are about the prince observing and even helping Felicia with her duties, seeing her clumsy attempts at work as a pleasant distraction from the horrors of the war. This leads to Felicia offering to teach Xander about all the work a maid does, and he accepts. He sees it as an opportunity to learn about the lives of his subjects so he can be a great king someday. What I wind up really liking about this support is Xander's attitude. We know that Xander is a generally caring person who enjoys helping people, and we get a showcase of that in his supports with Felicia. Additionally, he never makes fun of Felicia or gets annoyed with her, despite how often she fails in her maidly duties. On top of that, like Kagero and Ryoma, I can really see Xander and Felicia as a couple. Sure, Felicia can be awkward, but she is also technically a princess of the Ice Tribe. Their S support is really cute, too. A lot of Xander supports can come across as a bit odd, since Nor has so many strange characters. But here, I can really believe that he has fallen in love. Number 4. Arthur Right from their sea support, Arthur and Felicia establish a connection. Despite their skills, they are unbelievably clumsy. Like many of Felicia's supports, Arthur offers to help Felicia with her problems, but as a result of his hilariously bad luck, he winds up having a difficult time as well. Despite this, he still tries his hardest, and this furthers the relationship that Arthur and Felicia have. No matter what the world throws at them, they stay optimistic and keep at it because they're doing what they want to do. They both want to help people. While other characters may teach Felicia, Arthur becomes a source of inspiration for Felicia, and they make a very smooth transition into marriage. Number 3. Hanada. This is hands down one of the cutest supports of the game. I was so tempted to put this one at number 2. Once again, this support starts with Felicia feeling down about being unable to act as a proper maid, but instead of physically helping her with her duties, Hinata takes a different, more personal approach. He tells her that when he's struggling to do something he's not good at, he likes to take a break to do something he's good at. It's a simple piece of advice, but it leads to a very unique set of support conversations where Felicia starts practicing her ice manipulation powers. There are very few supports that even mention these abilities, and this is the only one I can think of where we see Felicia explore this side of her character. The two work together to make ice sculptures. What really makes this support is all the little moments within it. All the smiles, compliments, blushing, and giggling. The entire set of supports makes you really feel like the characters are falling in love with each other. No matter what you do, Felicia's ending in the game says she gives up her career as a maid, so you might as well let her have a super cute support that supports her decision to become a great soldier instead. Number 2. Kaze. In the story, Kaze becomes one of Corrin's retainers, so I like to treat this pairing as a retainer-retainer relationship, since both Kaze and Felicia serve Corrin. I don't know if the game itself officially supports this, but their relationship with Corrin does play a role in their supports. As far as their supports go, it's pretty basic. It's about Kaze helping Felicia with her duties, just like almost every support with her. Like I mentioned though, what makes this one different is that Kaze eventually reveals that Corrin asked him to help her, which makes Felicia question whether Corrin really trusts her or not. Kaze comforts her, telling her that he believes Corrin cares very much for Felicia, as does he, and that that's the reason they are helping. Strangely enough, I wound up not including Jacob on this list, even though he would be more likely to be seen as Felicia's fellow retainer. 
I guess my reason for that is that Jacob and Felicia's supports are very professional in nature and don't include all the cute moments Kaze and Felicia have. Plus, while Jacob and Felicia do have a couple moments together in the main story, they actually spend the bulk of it apart because of the way the game gives you Jacob and Felicia. Kaze, on the other hand, is one of the first characters you recruit in Birthright and Revelation, so to me, it gives the two much more time as units to establish their relationship. I think Kazi and Felicia have a great progression from meeting each other to learning about and helping each other to becoming a couple, and they have a great S support. Number one, Corin. Of course, Corin is number one. Of course, Corin is number one. Corin and Felicia are two of the first units you get in the game, and probably one of the first you see an established relationship of. Felicia regularly demonstrates her complete devotion throughout the beginning of Fates and throughout the rest of the game, and their support conversations are full of moments that show how much the two already care about each other. If it weren't for Corin and Azura, I would say that this is the most heavily implied, obvious pairing of the game. Like with the Azura support video, I could list off every moment and every reason why Felicia's pairing with Corin is perfect, but I already did that in my first video for this series, Top 5 S Supports for Male Avatar. So if you need a more in-depth reason as to why I think this is Felicia's greatest support, please watch that video. That's it for my Top 5 S Supports and Fire Emblem Fates for Felicia. Let me know what you think in the comments below, which pairings are your favorite, and which Fire Emblem Fates character you'd like to see next time. Thanks for watching!